Jay McCullough reporting live. We're at the Chop House in Jersey City Heights. Thank Nicholas Mirror for opening up his uh, garage to us. I'm joined with uh, Michael Krepnik, a esteemed colleague and alumnus. And we're here with a special request. Pratik Mavani requested this. Coke Starlight. You know, Coke Star esteemed is a bit of a stretch. Esteemed is a bit of a stretch, but he's a colleague and alumnus. That's a fact. Uh, Coke Starlight, my head doesn't fit in this, um, but we did try to source some props, as we often do on Jay McCullough Reporting Live, so I'll just put this down here briefly. And uh, at home, you're probably wondering, will you just shut up, man? No, I'm sorry, this is Jay McCullough Reporting Live, and we're going to pop into this Coke Starlight Limited Edition. Uh, I gave a preview photo here. There was a there was a box. This is the last one in the Hoboken shop, right? Should I hold the box? Uh, you can hold the box. You can, you can, yeah, just be like the, one of those announcer things on the, I'd like to buy a valve, please. There you go. Uh, so these are mini cans. This is I didn't have a choice here. So and this was uh, Nick. Nick asked me, "Was this cold? Do we need to refrigerate it? Is this cold enough for you?" It's pretty yeah. cold. It's pretty cold. It's cold. It's a, it's a warm day. The weather is getting nicer. Uh, so we're just going to crank it up here. And ooh, okay, I was carrying these around all day. I'm glad to see they didn't burst like the, uh, the Pepsi Pepsi Cola or what was that? The uh, Draft, the Draft Cola. We'll talk the way about that later. He's, he's currently up at the Pepsi facilities. Uh, so we're just wow. It's really red. I didn't expect this actually. That's some carbonate. It's a very different than the than the nitrogen. This is definitely not nitrogen infused. What's the nose on this? Kind of tastes like cherry. Now, now you do a, you do the space. You're a bit of a space hobbyist yourself. I do like space. Yes. You do like space. So does this have anything to do with space? I mean, there is a, there is a, a, a fuel that's used. It's quite toxic. That's red that comes out, and that would be bad. So fuel, fuel potentially. Could potentially. Be fuel. A lot of a lot of calories in there. Yeah. And let me just confirm, this is uh, one can, 90 calories per serving for about seven ounces. You're looking at a standard, before we said the, it was the Pepsi Draft uh, nitrogen, it was, was much higher on the sugar. This is a pretty normal Coke ratio. Caramel color. Am I getting cinnamon? Cinnamon or some mint? Kind of, it's, it's like a seasonal, this came out in February, so it's almost off the shelves. I'm not, I'm not getting this face. I don't know what's going on here. I'm not really getting it. It doesn't even taste like Coke, really. It just tastes it's smooth. I don't. Do you get cola in this? It could be Pepsi. We don't know. Maybe that's the grand scheme of this. This is a uh, yeah. From from future alternative realities of interstellar. Cheers. All right. Well, that's enough of that. I mean, we did it. We had to. But again, wouldn't recommend. Frankly, don't go out of your way for it. Uh, but more importantly, here uh, we just came up from Hoboken and M and P Bianca Mottos. Some of the biggest sandwiches in Hoboken. Ooh, watch the glass there. This is what you're getting for ten dollars here. This is literally, I got what is this? Like three pounds? Oh, it's already really in here. That's the mozzarella blood, the mutts as they call it. And we're just gonna come here. Uh, just put this down safely. Oh, is that plastic? That's very nice. It's just, you don't want that. You don't want that glass in the, in the garage here. Uh, so we got one of these is for Nick. He has for the turkey, but uh, Mike and I both got roast beef. And MP, uh, Peter and Teresa Biancamato. Uh, I alluded to his son does the uh, the Pulse with Peter B um, episodes as well, and Hoboken travels around going to different fairs and stuff. This could be your sandwich, we'll find out. I believe you got the roasted red peppers, I had the sun-dried tomatoes. Uh, now when did you first, this is yours actually, when did you first have M&P's? You're, you're a Stevens alumnus and a colleague, I'm not a Stevens. To be honest, I don't think I had it when I was in college. So you I didn't have it when you were in college, it was actually after you were introduced to it. I don't think so. I okay. I think the first time I had it would be uh, last time you were here. Oh, okay. Well, that was, that was a different sandwich, though. This was not... I've never had this before. You've never had this? Really? You, you did your due diligence in Hoboken, and you never had this. And all the roast beef scientific work that you did as well, which we won't talk about on camera. Keep it G. I'm not allowed to talk about that. That's uh, proprietary information here. So this is... Um, I'm just going to bring this up to the camera. We'll just get a, a close-up and a, just a shot of that. This, this is one of the best sandwiches in Hoboken. Now, you got to call ahead because they don't do the roast beef every day. Uh, and I got there, I called this morning, they said, oh, I'll be ready by noon. And thankfully we got some paper towels here. Uh, showed up promptly at noon, need another 10 minutes, worth waiting for. Uh, the last time during the pandemic I went, I wanted some roast beef, didn't have it that day, got the prosciutto, can't go wrong with that. Really anything they're cooking out, they have some hot dishes as well. But the roast beef, when I was a work study student in Stevens, working underneath the library, sorting printouts, did not getting paid six dollars, and I didn't cut it, just rip it up, just rip it up, you got it. You're, you can do it. Just rip it up? Yeah. I think the cameraman's getting a knife for us. He's, he's probably got all sorts of weapons and all sorts of... Yeah, no, you guys... It's fine. I've attempted the rip. Now, this roast beef, this homemade roast beef... Thank you, This, this phenomenal... Look at this. This is just a layer of a, a cow beating itself does, up for us. That does look nice. That does it's look it's nice. beautiful. Yeah. It's, that knife looks ridiculous. Is that a cheese knife? Yeah, yeah. Use what you can do in the chop shop. It's whatever you do. 
Now, I just want you to take a little bit of the roast beef by itself first. This was this just came out of the oven literally within the past hour. Not far enough. It's nice. Yeah. It's it's got a good flavor. It's nice natural. Here. Thinly sliced too. You know, it's. Like and now the silliness here is, um, and this is actually I'm surprised how easy this is to hold. I used to get these on the. You have a choice of the soft or the crispy roll, and this is just comically large. This is like you really can't even. When did you pay for this? Oh, it was about um, I want to say forty bucks for three sandwiches because we got the toppings on it. Otherwise, your standard is looking about. $10, $12 a sandwich. This is easily two meals. That's not bad. It's not, no, it's, it's, it's nice. It's with like red works. Sort of, uh, no, like, like sauce or something. It's a natural juice. Well, you got the, the natural juice and the peppers mm -hmm. there. They're marinated. Let's get some love for the cameraman. So, uh, Nick ordered a uh, Mutz and. Remind me, Nick, what did you order? Hope I got it right. I think it was, uh, he knows the cameraman doesn't speak. Excellent. He, that was a test, and you passed, my friend. Uh, so Nick got a turkey with some mozzarella and um, oil and vinegar. Just get a little shot at that's um, that's a side. It's not the roast beef, so I can't speak to this. But I'm sure Nick is going to enjoy it thoroughly. And I'll just put that over here for Nick. Nick, take a bite into this. Tell me, tell me how you're feeling there. Is this everything you were looking forward to? He's he's holding it up his mouth. He's he's biting into it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a smile. That's a oh, smile. Yeah. A satisfied smile. Mm. Okay, so. That's a chop says, and this is what happens. So you try and eat these things on the go, forget about it. You need a table for the uh, cameraman has provided me a fork knife thing. A north, yeah. A, a north, we call that a, a nork. I think that's what it's called. Okay, uh, so Jay McCullough reporting live with Michael Krupnik with Norks at the Chop Shop. Jersey Heights, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.